I'm gonna show you how to make a sterile MPC connection working inside the biosafety cabinet while keeping both the hyperstack and the fill vessel outside of the biosafety cabinet. In order to make a sterile connection inside of the biosafety cabinet from your hyperstack to your fill vessel, the first thing that we're gonna do is take our MPC connectors and caps, spray them with 70% ethanol before we move them inside of the biosafety cabinet. And then take some chem wipes, or again, if you prefer to use a GMP grade ethanol wipe, that's also a good alternative. Once we've got the caps sprayed and wiped down, we can then move into the biosafety cabinet. First thing to note is the orientation of the white tabs. Make sure that they're in the same direction before we loosen those caps just slightly. So I'm gonna take my thumb and index finger, just loosen the cap, avoiding touching anywhere in the midline. We're now ready to pull the cap, make our mainline connection. You hear the click come around to the back, put the caps together, drop the main line away. We then hear the click. We can use these later since it's a sterile connection. And then always come and give a tug on that main line to make sure your MPC connection is secure before you move outside of the biosafety cabinet for additional manipulation of the hyperstack. Now that you've completed your manipulations of the hyperstack out on the bench top, we're gonna move back into the biosafety cabinet to make a sterile disconnect of the MPCs. First thing to do is to spray your caps and your main body of the MPCs with some 70% ethanol, wipe those down, and then you're free to move inside of the biosafety cabinet. Now again, you can use GMP grade ethanol wipes um, if you prefer. Next, look at the orientation of your white tabs of your caps and your main body connection. Make sure that they're aligned in the same direction. Now, just like we did with the sterile connection, we're gonna use our thumb and index finger to loosen the caps to then replace our sterile caps. Now, once we have those caps in place, again, that's a sterile disconnect. We're free to move our hyperstack either into the incubator, out, out onto the bench top, again, to do additional manipulations.